there's a certain je ne sais quoi about French desserts. Today, we're diving into the sweet side of France, exploring five iconic French desserts that have tantalized taste buds worldwide. Welcome to Travel Guide Roy. We'll start with the classic creme brulee, known for its creamy vanilla custard base and contrasting layer of caramelized sugar. Next, we'll delve into the delicate world of macarons, those vibrant almond meringue cookies with a variety of fillings that are as delightful to the eye as they are to the palate. Then we'll explore the unique tart tatin, an upside down tart with caramelized apples that's a testament to the beauty of culinary accidents. Our journey continues with the eclair, an oblong pastry filled with cream and topped with icing that's as sophisticated as it is delicious. And finally, we'll dive into the many layers of the mille feuille, a puff pastry masterpiece that's as complex as it is satisfying. Stay tuned to learn how to prepare these delectable desserts. First up, the creme brulee, a dessert as delicious as it is fun to make. Born in the kitchens of 17th century France, creme brulee, or burnt cream in English, is a timeless classic that continues to delight palates around the world. This delectable dessert consists of two primary components, the first is a rich and creamy custard base, traditionally flavoured with vanilla. This base is made from a simple yet indulgent mixture of cream, egg yolks, sugar and vanilla beans. The second component, and perhaps the most exciting, is the layer of caramelised sugar that sits atop the custard. This hardened sugar shell provides a delightful contrast to the smooth custard beneath. Now, let's talk about the fun part, achieving that perfect caramelisation. It's all about the broil, my friends. Sprinkle a thin, even layer of granulated sugar on your cooled custard and then slide it under a hot broiler. The sugar will bubble and harden into a beautiful glassy crust. Or, if you're feeling a bit adventurous, you can use a kitchen torch to caramelise the sugar, which allows for more control over the process. With its creamy base and caramelised sugar topping, creme brulee is indeed a delight. It's a testament to the simple elegance of French cuisine where a few quality ingredients can come together in harmony to create something truly magical. Next on our list, the colourful and delicate macarons, a true testament to French finesse. These delightful little pastries are more than meets the eye. They're a blend of artistry, precision and taste that dates back to the Renaissance era, when they were first introduced by Catherine de' Medici's Italian pastry chefs. Macarons are essentially almond meringue cookies that sandwich a delicious filling creating a symphony of flavours in every bite. Traditionally, they're filled with ganache, buttercream or jam, but modern variations have expanded to include adventurous fillings like wasabi or black sesame. Each macaron is a joyous explosion of colour, signalling the flavour within. From pastel pinks and vibrant greens to deep blues and subtle browns, the colour palette of macarons is as diverse as the flavours they hold. No wonder they're a favourite at weddings, parties and high teas. Now the magic of a perfectly baked macaron lies in its delicate shell with a slight crunch, giving way to a chewy interior. Achieving this balance requires a technique called macaronage, a process of folding the almond and meringue mixture until it reaches a lava-like consistency. Baking these beauties is an art in itself. It's all about the right temperature and timing. The result? A perfectly risen macaron with a smooth, shiny surface and the characteristic foot or frilly edge at the bottom. The variety and delicacy of macarons make them an irresistible treat. Moving on to a dessert with a twist, the upside down tart tatin. This tantalizing treat has a charming story that begins in the kitchen of the Tatin sisters, who accidentally created this dessert when trying to salvage an apple pie gone wrong. The key to a great tart tatin lies in the caramelization of the apples. First, you'll need to make a caramel by melting sugar and butter together. Then, you add apple slices and cook them until they're soft and golden. This process infuses the apples with a rich, sweet flavour that's simply irresistible. While the apples are caramelising, it's time to prepare the pastry. A simple buttery puff pastry works best. It's rolled out to fit over the pan and then draped over the caramelised apples. The whole pan is then placed in the oven to bake until the pastry becomes golden and crisp. But here's the twist. Once the tart is out of the oven, it needs to be flipped so that the apples are on top and the pastry is at the bottom. This can be a bit tricky, but with a swift and confident motion, you can flip the tart successfully. Tart Tatin, with its caramelised apples and crisp pastry, is a dessert to remember.
prepare to be dazzled by our next dessert, the elegant eclair. This oblong pastry, with its iconic choux dough, cream filling and icing topping, is a testament to the sophistication of French patisserie. The eclair has an interesting history, originating in France during the 19th century. Its name, which translates to flash of lightning, is thought to refer to how quickly these delightful treats can be eaten. There are numerous variations of the classic eclair, with different fillings and toppings, each adding its own unique twist to the original. Creating the perfect eclair begins with mastering show pastry. This light pastry dough made from butter, water, flour and eggs puffs up in the oven, creating a hollow interior perfect for our filling. The key to a good choux pastry is to cook the dough twice, once on the stove and then again in the oven. Now let's talk about that filling. Traditionally, eclairs are filled with a vanilla pastry cream, but the possibilities are endless. You could experiment with flavours like chocolate, coffee or even fruit-infused creams. The final touch is the icing on top, which can be matched to the flavour of the filling or contrasted for an exciting twist. An eclair, crisp on the outside, creamy on the inside, is a perfect blend of textures. This delightful pastry truly embodies the creativity and finesse of French dessert making. Last, but certainly not least, the layered marvel, mille fouille. This dessert is a true testament to the sophistication of French patisserie. Its name, which translates to a thousand leaves, perfectly encapsulates the essence of this dessert. Delicate, flaky layers of puff pastry sandwiching smooth, velvety pastry cream. The origin of mille fouille is steeped in history, with its earliest mention dating back to the late 17th century. Traditionally, it's presented with three layers of puff pastry and two of pastry cream, topped with a dusting of powdered sugar or a glossy icing, often decorated with intricate patterns. Creating mille fouilles requires patience and precision. The puff pastry, a labour of love, involves folding and rolling butter into the dough multiple times to achieve those distinct, flaky layers. The pastry cream, a rich custard, is then sandwiched between these layers. When assembling a mille fouille, remember, it's all about balance. Too much cream can make the layers slide, while too little can leave the dessert dry. When it comes to decoration, creativity is key. Whether you opt for a simple dusting of powdered sugar or an elaborate icing design, the final touch should enhance, not overpower, the delicate flavours within. With its layers of pastry and cream, Mille Fouille is truly a dessert masterpiece. And there you have it, five French desserts that are as delightful to prepare as they are to savour. From the creamy creme brulee with its caramelised top to the delicate and colourful macarons. We ventured through the upside-down world of Tarte Tatin, indulged in the cream-filled éclair, and ended with the layered masterpiece, the Mille Feuille, each a testament to the exquisite art of French patisserie. Join us next time as we continue our global culinary journey. Until then, bon appétit.